Let's now look at configuring a confirmation page because the one you get out of the box is pretty basic. So to configure it, just go to settings, confirmation, and from here, you can configure the confirmation type. We'll leave it as page, but you can set it to inline, message, modal, URL, or URL with message. Page is probably the most common one, but if you want to redirect the user to a third-party website, then look at using the URL option. But we'll keep it at page. And then further down, you can configure the confirmation URL. So you can exclude query strings and also the token from the confirmation URL. Now, if you want to add in tokens to the confirmation message, make sure this isn't checked. And I'll demonstrate what will happen in a second. And then here from the confirmation settings, you can configure the title and the message. And then you can add in the confirmation attributes like classes, styles. And then here you can configure the confirmation backlink label. So instead of it being back to form, you can change it to whatever you want. So let's go back to confirmation settings. Let's now configure the title and the message. So in the title, you can put in request the callback has been submitted. And as the message, let's enter in thanks. And let's add in the first name of the submission. And we'll use the same token we used in the confirmation email. So click on browse available tokens. And if you can't see browse available tokens, make sure you have the token module installed. And then click on web form submission and scroll down until you find web form submission values. And let's just paste it in, but replace the question mark with first name. And then let's put in a message below that. One of our sales reps will be in contact shortly. And let's just save that. And let's test out the form. Click on next page, hit submit. And we get this nice little message. Thanks Ringo, because that's the first name. One of our sales reps will be in contact shortly. Now, the reason why these tokens work is because we have this token parameter up the top here. If we were to go back and turn that off. So let's click on exclude token from confirmation URL and hit save and then test the form again submit it you can see that the token parameter is no longer there and also the token is getting displayed as a token it's not getting rendered properly and that is because we need that token in there so if you are going to add tokens to the confirmation message you have to make sure that the exclude token from confirmation url is not checked so let's just go back into settings and uncheck that and let's just change the confirmation backlink. So here you can enter in a label for the confirmation backlink. So let's change it to back to request a callback form. You can change it to whatever you want, but I'll just add that in for now. And then you hit save. And then if you go test one last time and then submit it, you can see now that the label has changed. So as you can see, configuring the confirmation step is pretty simple in web form. And thanks to tokens, you can personalize the confirmation message.